Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anri and I am an artist, illustrator, designer and Bible journaler from South Africa. So it is officially the second day of the COVID-19 lockdown and um, it's been an interesting day. First of all, Aviana, our little baby, has been very difficult and then the internet has been so slow. So it is officially like almost evening and I'm only getting around to uploading the video now and yeah but I'm not complaining I'm thankful that um, I've been given this opportunity to do the video for you guys and if you didn't watch my video yesterday um, I'll just recap quickly God put it on my heart to just do a couple of videos for you to follow along that is positive and fun and easy to do um, I'm going to try and upload a video every day and if there is an illustration or something specific that you need, I will post it over on my Facebook page. So you can just save the image and print it and trace it. And please share it. Um, I know there's a lot of people at home who's like, what am I going to do for the next 21 days? But two days have already passed, so yeah. Okay, so with that, with that said, let's start painting. So first of all, what I did is I just used some washi tape to mark off my pages. And if you use washi tape, just stick it on your clothes and then pull it off and stick it again to remove some of the stickiness so that when you remove it from your page you don't tear it. For this little video you basically, or for this little artwork, you basically just need some paint brushes and a journaling pen and a pencil and a razor of course if you want to draw out and not just paint straight. Then um, once we've marked and allocated the space, I started with my background. So I decided to use some pastel colors for the background. I decanted um, some acrylic colors, a pastel peach color, a pink, a purple, and a blue. The interesting background noise is Aviana. So if you hear it, oh, oh, that's my baby, telling she's also present. So then I used my flat brush from Faber Castell. It's the green brush, it's a size 10. Um, for those of you who've done a class with me will know that these are my go-to brushes. They paint really nice because their bristles are super soft. And especially in your Bible, they just tend to paint really nice. So for the background, I just used these colors and I painted randomly. Um, there is no direct <laughs> intent. It's just putting colors down. And when I put the colors down, I don't clean my brush. So then you get like a nice... Um, smooth blend when you use a pink or a purple and a blue um, all the colors just blend nicely together so once the background is finished um, you can just dry it with a heat gun um, if your background is wet and you try to draw over it um, sometimes you scratch off the paint or you damage the page um, the reason why I like using a flat brush to paint background is because you cover more space and you kind of level out the paint nicely. So then I just added some blue to just give it some more, I don't know, artiness to it. And then once I've added enough paints and I was happy, I started drawing out. So I quickly want to talk about the verse. Um, the verse that I'm doing is, or the verse that we'll be doing is Mark 5 verse 36. And, but Jarius overheard, then Jesus said to Jarius, don't be afraid, just have faith. Um, this specific chapter, which is the second part of Mark 5, has two, um, has two verses that are very relevant to the current situation that the whole world is in. The first, the, 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 first, the second verse also that you can journal is um, Mark 5 verse 34. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace, your suffering is over. And so when I read up about this, um, there was a lot of interesting things that I read when I studied this verse where the Holy Spirit was talking to me. And um, while, we, while I draw out this, I quickly want to read a couple of things that I read um, while doing it. Um, so the Bible that I do my study in is in the, in the Thrive Bible. And it has like a reading plan and also daily devotionals that go with the yearly reading plan. But there was a specific part of the devotional that really just like bam hit me so hard and I just related so much to where we are currently. Um, faith is simply, and I'm just going to read it to you, faith is simply believing that the Lord is who he says he is and will do what he says he will do. 
Faith is an opening in your heart to receive and a decision to believe. Faith brings peace no matter what your circumstances. And in today's current situation, I think that faith is basically the only thing that will carry us through this time. Um, it's really an interesting time in the world and it's an interesting time to see how God will and how God will intervene for us and how God will do what he said he will do and how this thing will play out. And then while also studying this specific verse, I also read two other interesting things um, in my New Testament commentary that just really also made me um, made me think about this verse. Um, the part um, of this verse that I'm going to be referring to, specifically the part where the woman is healed. And um, in the commentary, um, it reads, ah. it reads, oh, sorry, 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 that's it, that's it, okay. It reads, um, but Jesus kept looking for the person who had touched him. He wanted the woman to come forward so that she and others would understand that it was by his power and her faith in him that she had been cured. Faith alone without Jesus is blind faith. On the other hand, without our faith, Jesus cannot help us. Both Jesus' power and our faith working together are necessary for us to be saved and healed. And also, um, there is another verse in John 14 verse 22 that reads, Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these. And I think in today's day, today in today's times, specifically now with this COVID-19 virus, there is so much sickness and so much death going around. But we serve a God and we, we, we are covered by the blood of the Lamb, by, by Jesus, that we have authority over all these things that are happening. And by having faith in Jesus and by praying over these things, we, we kind of get peace and we know that our God is stronger. So if you are scared and if you are terrified of COVID-19 and all the things that you read on the news, I want to challenge you to embrace this, sorry, 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 sorry. to embrace the slogan that's been going around faith over fear because fear cannot both cannot flourish where there's faith faith in Jesus faith in God faith that he will say what he has what that he will do what he said he will do um, that he isn't that he never changes and that he will never leave us and never forsake us so I just finished my lettering here and um, yeah, I'm gonna speed up this video and then I'll add the little final product at the end. Um, what I did to finish off this artwork is I used the little, to do the little dots that you'll see later on. I just used one of those dotting tools that they use to do those dot art. And I used that to just layer some black paint and then use the same colors that I used for the background in my little circles. And then also I use my journaling pen to just give the tree like a little sketchy effect. And then that's it. So I'm going to just speed this video quickly up and then I'll show you the final picture. And then I'll say goodbye. Okay.
on a side note, my little Baba is in my arms and every time she moves the microphone goes very high pitched. So I'm just apologizing for that. Um, and funny thing is, it's the end of the video. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> in any case, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see something specific, just let me know in the comment section. Also, I will upload this illustration to my Facebook page. And later in the week, I'm going to upload a little video to show you three ways you can trace something, whether it's in your Bible or whatever, if you don't have access to a tracing board or something like that. But yeah, and oh, I'll also list all the stuff that I used, all the supplies that I used in the comment section, I think, or that little info drop down thingy. And yeah, so um, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and push the little bell icon thingy if you want to get updates regularly on this video. I'm going to try and upload a video again tomorrow, but a little bit earlier um, because yeah, it's like evening now. Um, but in any case, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, 19 days left to go. We've survived two days so far um, by God's grace. So I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, same, see you tomorrow. Not see you tomorrow. Well, see my video tomorrow again. Okay, bye.